Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're at the Ruined Labyrinth and we've encountered a new type of enemy. There's a lot of them that shoot us with their bows with incredibly powerful arrows. It's a pretty scary place. Also that sound in the background is one of those walking mausoleums or whatever they are. So let's explore around here. Not really sure which way to go. I guess back here is just going to be the bowmen again. Although now they're not aggro so I could sneak up on them. On the map, this place is a little confusing, so... Um, maybe let's go this way. Because this up here looks interesting. That's definitely a thing, and it looks like it might lead to the other side, which is a big valley or something? Perhaps. Wary of giant. Yeah, let's not go that way yet. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Wow, you scared me. was pretty tough. There's lots of ways to get down here with those tombstones. Hi. Oh, they're very teleporty. Perhaps star shower? No, magic downpour, maybe? Not terrible. Not great, though. Maybe... 
Star shower? Ooh, yeah, that's good. Is it that good, actually? <laughs> I think I maybe just got lucky that one time. Well, that's all my FP, so... I don't know, one final shard. And it missed. Alright, alright. Oh, no! <laughs> as soon as I started that follow-up attack, I was like, No, no, I want to dodge, I want to dodge, but it was too late. Come on. Oh, so much better. Still no head. Bellum Highway. Time for critical hit. Ooh, Black Knife Catacombs. Oh, you know what I forgot to try last episode that I should do right now is the Royal Remains armor. Armor graced with gold human bones worn by the unspeaking adherence of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing. Slowly replenishes HP when HP is reduced. Huh. It said that the bones belonged to an ancient lord, the soulless king, the lord of the lost and desperate, who was known as Ensha. So how are the stats? Better physical, worse magic. Only very slightly worse magic, though. Well, eh, no, it's it's pretty much on par with the gains in physical. So, I wouldn't say better, just different and heavier. How does it look, though? Hmm. Maybe if I put the full set on? How's the headpiece look? Maybe it ties it together? Uh, it definitely does tie it together. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Something. Well, great message. Applaud. Wait, these ones are special, they won't die. There must be like a caster or something supporting them. Armament ahead. Mage required ahead. Oh, it must be you! Yeah, now they fall apart. Oh, you stone sword keys. Finally a use for them. I have so many. Uh, yeah, it was lost with use, thank you. It wouldn't let me attack while that message was on screen.
Rosas' axe. Strength, dex, and int. Hmm. Usher of Death, Rosas, who shows the path to the catacombs throughout the lands between, is depicted on this ritual axe. The dead easily lose their way and have always been in sore need of a guiding hand. Rosas' summons. Raise the axe aloft to summon those lost in death. Three skeletons will appear at a distance and attack in tandem before vanishing. <laughs> that sounds neat. I want to see what this thing looks like. It's actually quite interesting. I would need a lot more strength, though, because I only have 13 strength. Oh, actually, not as much as I thought. I need five more strength. Or I could wheel it right now if I double-handed it. Not that large, but pretty cool looking. Let's do the summons. Oh, that's cool. I want to see how much damage it does. Of course, it's not upgraded, but still. Ooh. Try up. Oh, so they don't center on the enemy, they center on where you hit, which makes sense. Okay, even if that could get through the blades, I don't think it would reach. Okay, this is not a good place to try out this weapon. special ones. Alright, where's that mage? down here. Hey, Krabbies. did it. Good job. Hidden path ahead. That has a maxed upvotes. Maxed upvotes on a liar. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So wait a minute, what am I missing here? I don't know where to continue in this catacombs. 
Oh, try up in short lift. Oh, do I need to get... Oh, bastard. Do I need to get on one of the blades and ride it up? Aha! I didn't even consider that. Ah. Well done. Thank you. They have a mage as well because they have that like white stuff around them. There you are. A real hidden path. So that's a boss. And that is... I don't know. Probably how you... I don't know, actually. Should I do the boss first? I... Hmm. No, this might be a shortcut. This might open up a shortcut. Ah, yes. It does open up a shortcut. Be wary of group. Okay. So, where does this heavy door that's opened go? Is this a different entrance to the same boss, or are there two bosses here? Holy required ahead. Hmm. I can't really do holy damage. Well, I do have holy uh, throwable pots, actually. I also don't have all of my flasks of crimson tears left. I'll try it anyway. I don't feel like going back to the bonfire. Sight of Grace, sorry. Yeah, holy water pot. Oh my god, that thing's terrifying. Ah! No! I'm dead. Oh, that thing's so scary! Oh, that blood loss, though. Oh. Ah! Oh my god, look at how much damage that did! Holy shit! No, damn it! Ah! I think it's just instant death when that happens. Let's try Magic Glint Blade. Oh, well that was easy. <laughs> there is no other entrance to this place, which means that other hidden pathway was a different boss.
Oh, what's wrong? You stuck on a bench? Oh, no. Oh, what is that? What is that? Yeah. Damn. Uh, I think I want to change my Flask of Wondrous Physic. I don't think I need it to restore FP, actually. I think I'm going to have it heal over time and also negate damage. Oh, damn it. Oh, that really did significantly negate damage, but I think it only did it for one hit. Because the bubble's gone now. Uh, I'm sorry? Did you just... Did someone just shoot magic through the thing? Through the wall? That was a cool enemy. Assassin Cerulean Dagger. Black knife print. It's a key item. What is that? I did it. Good job. Black knife print. On the night of the Black Knives, someone stole a fragment of death from Maliketh, the Black Blade, and imbued its power into the Assassin's Daggers. This mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. I spent like five minutes scrolling through my list of weapons trying to find the Assassin's Cerulean Dagger, only to Google it, look it up on the wiki, and realize that it's a talisman. It's not an actual dagger, or it's not used as a dagger. Like, not a real weapon. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay, so it's just like the Crimson Dagger. Critical hits restore HP, but instead critical hits restore FP. That's cool. Okay, back to the Ruined Labyrinth, since we've explored up there now. How many um, runes do I have? 4,500. Not even close to enough to level up. Okay, this place is pretty confusing. Uh, which way do I actually want to go? I guess just up the road here. They seem happy. They got a pep in their step. Let's clean their feet.
I'd like to think that they're just walking around because they're agitated and I clean their feet and then they're nice and happy so they go down to rest. I'd like to think that I'm not hurting them. I don't think I have a reason to actually use this. No, I don't really have a reason to duplicate any remembrances. I hear something else. Is that another one? Yeah. Huh. So close to each other. I love how the water looks. All those water caustics. Or whatever they're called. Is that what they are? Caustic rays? Strong foe ahead. Is that the strong foe? Oh, it's a bear, isn't it? Yeah. It was absolute luck that I was able to kill that without it killing me. Because if it got one more hit on me, I would have been dead. And I thought I had my staff out. So I was trying to shoot magic at it, but I was actually using my, um, my flail. <laughs> Complete luck. It's just Arteria leaves. That was not worth it. There's yet another one down there. Wait, that's, that's down in the, um, Lake Liernia. Didn't I explore all of Lake Liernia? I mean, obviously I went to this tunnel that was down there. I guess they move around or appear, <clears throat> appear after certain amounts of time or something. I'm gonna try to leave the puppies alone if they don't chase me too far. Dog. They're so happy to see me, they just had to jump.
What are they doing? Does that have some meaning? I wonder if that has some ritualistic meaning, and I wonder if it's connected to these walking mausoleums. Ooh, side of grace. Mausoleum compound. from here to the minor earth tree perhaps yeah thought I heard something Yeah, they're all doing it. It definitely has some sort of meaning. I really suspect it's because of the walking mausoleums. Try horseback battle. Sounds good. The pot can break! Magic Shrouding Cracked Tear, Lightning Shrouding Cracked Tear, and Holy Shrouding Cracked Tear. What 
where to go from here. There's some sort of an encampment there, surrounded by a wall, it looks like. Can I make my way up there? I did some searching around, and yeah, it looks like there is not a way up anywhere along there on that way, or even here this way. So I think to explore the rest of this up here, I think you have to get there from the back and go up this way. So let's start exploring that, starting from East Rea Lucaria Gate and going northeast. Before we go, though, let's check out the new mixed physics stuff. We got these. Temporarily boost magic attacks in mixed physic. Ooh. So magic, lightning, and holy. Hmm. How much will that increase my damage? Let's see. Well, I guess I gotta try it without it first, right? What's the nearest enemy? That's not a goat. I'm not gonna shoot a goat. I see someone on horseback. So, without it. Just double check the damage. 213. 169. 169. And with it. Ah! Two oh two, so that's probably instead of one sixty nine. Yeah. From one sixty nine, so let's just say one seventy to two oh two. So basically an increase of thirty points of damage, which is well, I don't know what the percentage is, fifteen, twenty percent? So it's pretty significant. And it seems to be lasting for a while as well. I think it's a... Yeah, you're perfectly fine, horsey. Go be free. It's that blue glow around me. Let's see if it lasts as long as the... Um, the healing... The healing one does. Because that one lasts a good... I don't know, at least a minute. That would be really nice for boss fights, actually. Because you can just leave it running and it just keeps going for a long time. Yeah, it's still going, even. Why did those do so little damage? I swear it's like their shield is working behind them or something. Only two of those hits actually did, like, non-shield damage. is still going on. It lasts multiple minutes. That's amazing. Cuckoo Knight Helm. Oh, interesting. Hey, horsey. We cool?
I'd guess that that buff lasted for maybe two minutes. These statues seem so out of place. Just sitting here. A bunch of them looking pristine amongst rubble. Ooh, I see a... Oh, of course there's a side of grays over there. I've already been there. It's a church. Yeah, so is there anything else here? Doesn't really look like it. So I think I should just continue northeast. Oh. Oh my. Serpentine. What a shot. that buff again. Oh. I wonder if I can operate these things. I'll try after I take care of this encampment. Not the horse, not the horse. Oh. Does it do it? Hold on. <laughs> Let's get further away. Does it do anything if I hit that thing in the front? I've never tried. Basically, no. Oh, I think the spikes on front hurt. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh no, oh no. Doing the spinny thing. All right. I hear tinkling. Give me more FP. Yes, that is exactly what I needed right now. No trap ahead. Takes 28 strength. Yeah, not using that anytime soon.
partisan. No FP left. And that's the entire encampment. Oh, I see you. That'll just give me healing back, though. I don't need it. So yeah, can I fire these myself? Dang, I can't. Wait, can I climb this? Can I be the ammo? Oh my god. <laughs> a message up there. Well done. And another well done for good measure up there. Okay, if you're wondering how to get up these, it took me a while. I got really lucky the first time and then I tried for like five or ten minutes to get up and I couldn't do it again. And then I figured out the trick. Um, you don't actually need to jump at all. In fact, just don't jump. What you actually need to do is don't try to go up the center. If you do, you'll get kind of like this. And then you like keep falling back down. What you need to do is go up the very corner of it. Like just the side. You can just slowly walk up the side of it like this. Yeah. I wonder if that works on all of them or just this one or, or what? I don't know. I feel accomplished, though. I wonder if anyone will find that message. Has anyone found any of my other messages, by the way? All the um, all the well-done ones are ones put in, like, hard-to-reach places. Uh, those don't have any. This one doesn't have any. No? No. Aw. Aw. I think it maybe only keeps your last like five or ten messages though, because I think one of those got cut off. I feel like the earlier ones have, have been cut off. gates open scared to go through though Jesus look at how big this freaking map is oh and it looks like I can head over here as well let me just peek through and just see if there's a site of grace right up here dragon wound grease Bloodstains? Wait, why are there bloodstains? Is there a boss? Grace ahead. Seek north. Tunnel ahead. Oh, 
Do they mean this tunnel? Oh, we can probably level up now. Grand Lift. Oh, Grand Lift of Dectus. One of the notes mentioned the location of something that was relative to the Grand Lift of Dectus. And yes, I can level up. Hmm. Maybe Dex? Nah, Int. Always Int. Because I'm sure one of these days I'll find a really high level spell that I'll want to use. It's there, somewhere. Another path leading back to the foot of the earth tree. An ancient tunnel. Well, going in that hole led me to be a to go up here to this abandoned coffin, which then points this way. So I guess that is leading to the foot of the Erd tree. Oh no! I just wanted to read that message. Try down. No thank you, I just tried it. It wasn't very nice. Let's go up and behind where we wanted to go before. I just want to check this real quick. Yep, just an abyss. Madness ahead up. see anything. Man is ahead, therefore don't you dare. Well, I, I think I'm gonna. Oh. Oh. Interesting. What happens if I go mad? Let's find out. You just die? Or did the rat kill me? Does it have to do with line of sight? Because it, it wasn't constantly giving me madness. Was it when I was behind a rock that it wasn't? Yeah, I think it needs line of sight. I wonder if I could stop it if I could get to that tower. Be wary of group. Oh no. No, no, no. Shit. Oh. I 
Seek revenge. Howl of Shabriri. What well, is that made of human eyes too? Are they making the madness, or... or what? Or are they just being affected by it? Who's actually making it? So this pack of them were making it together. I hope it doesn't come back. Seek calmness. Ah. Howl of Shabriri shrieks, building up madness and nearby foes. Takes 33 faith. Okay, there were a bunch of bodies along the way. Now I can loot them. Do I see a spirit spring? Yeah. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Oh, I guess that's, um... Well, that's probably a better way to get to the tower than just hiding behind rocks. Whee! So, oh, I'm in combat. Oh, pupper, no. Can you do something with these statues? Bad luck message. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, side of grace. Frenzied Flame Village Outskirts. So that's what this is. This is the Frenzied Flame Village, which we had a note about. And I think it said it was south of the Grand Lift of Dectus, which indeed it is. And there's also another building up there we can go visit. But for now, Frenzied Flame Village. And yeah, can I tell from here whether they're back at the tower? They don't seem to be back. I think we're good.
tinkly noises. Oh, must be up above. God, what an awesome spell. Shabriri's Woe. And it has no eyes. It's a talisman. Constantly attracts enemies' aggression. Disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. <laughs> The corners of his mouth are upturned in an almost flirtatious manner. It is said that the man, named Shabriri, had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander, and with time the blight of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the empty sockets. Why would I want to constantly attract enemies' aggression? Interesting. I'm sure that has some use. Frenzied cookbook. Not quite sure what that added. There's a mana ball up there. Mm, I don't need it though. Item ahead. Oh, there is one on the wall. Ah, oh, yes. Looks like this pathway is leading up to that building. Looks like it could be another church. Ah, Lord Vike, it seems that you were no lord after all. Then where is he? Our true lord, our lord of frenzied flame. We beg of you, incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, may chaos take the world. Wait, why'd you just kick me off? Is there a boss? 
I don't like this. Invaded by festering fingerprint Vike. Oh, they jumped over that last one. Jumpy boy. Ah, cool. That was like, it was like fingers. It sent out like fingers of flame. That's so cool. No, no, no. Don't frenzy me. No! I tried to drink the Flask of Wonders Physic again. I forgot to switch back. That went a little better. Fingerprint grape. Mmm. Grape. Sure. Who do I give that to? You really think that that person's gonna eat it anymore? Vikes war spear. Does physical and fire? The strength, dex, and faith causes madness buildup. Warspear, singed and blistered by fingers used by Vike, Knight of the Roundtable Hold. Wait, Vike is a Knight of the Roundtable Hold? Well, like Vike himself, it has been tormented by the yellow flame of frenzy from within. Oh, that'd be a cool weapon to wield, but I just, I'm not a faith character. Oh, I wanted to look at the Partisan. Spear with a wide tip. In addition to its thrusting attacks, this highly versatile weapon can be swung to sweep through foes. Ah, it's more of a strength weapon. Oh yeah. The Shabriri thing. What even was that? A key item, I think? Yep. Eyeball of the night, Vike, inflamed yellow. Seared with a repulsive fingerprint burn akin to those that marred his entire body. If offered to the blind maiden, it will lead her to the source of the distant light, allowing her to become a finger maiden. I mean, I don't think she'll eat it anymore. And I don't know if I want that to happen. I, if that's how you become a finger maiden... I think it's just going to end up with her dying. Likely bug. No enemy ahead. Well done. Thank you. made in armor. Filet, robe, and shoes. And a sacred tear. Just to finish up this area, down south from the church. We've already been down here, but I have... Whoa, there's a lot of plants here. But I have not explored this upper area. I think it's just, just this, just these tombstones. Oh no, that's madness! Ah, uh, get away, get away! Oh wait, I didn't die. 
Okay, doesn't doesn't kill you, it just does damage. Uh let's stay ranged. Yeah, looks like that's it for down here. I want to check on how the Light Seeker is doing and see if I can give them the other grape. Ah, is that you over there? I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail, so faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. I've gleaned something I'm certain now. Well, at least they're happy. Um, I can't give it to them right now, but maybe when I meet them at the next place, I'll be able to give it to them. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return... Well, I don't want to find any new maps and any new areas until I've fully explored what we've already found. So within this, there's only one area I can think of that I haven't fully explored. And that is this rather large castle place up here, north of northern Lyernia Lakeshore. <laughs>